Welcome to an exploration of faith, miracles, and the power of belief. Today we dive into the world of five miraculous healing conspirations. Picture this. Elijah breathes life into a widow's son. Peter empowers a man to walk again. Jesus calls Lazarus from the grave. Naaman finds himself cleansed of leprosy, and a woman's faith in a mere touch heals her. Each story a testament to the transcendent power of faith and divine intervention. Are you ready to delve into these fascinating stories of miraculous healings? Our first story hails from the time of Elijah, a prophet with a connection to the divine so powerful it could bring back life. Picture a world where miracles are as tangible as the air you breathe. This was the world of Elijah, a man whose faith was as unwavering as the mountains. He was once a guest of a widow, and her son fell ill. The illness was so severe that the boy's life slipped away, but Elijah, in his profound faith, did not accept this. He prayed to the heavens, asking for the boy's life to be returned. In a display of divine intervention, the boy's life was indeed restored. Elijah carried the boy to his mother, a living testament to the miracle that had just occurred. Can you imagine the joy, the disbelief and the awe that must have filled the room? A boy, once lifeless, now filled with breath and vitality, all thanks to a prophet's unwavering faith. This story, a cherished part of biblical lore, speaks volumes about the power of belief. It tells us that faith, when held strong, can transcend the barriers of life and death. It reminds us that miracles can and do happen, even in the direst of circumstances. And so we end this tale with a thought to ponder, a tale of faith so powerful it defied the laws of life and death. Next, we journey alongside Peter, a man whose faith allowed him to give the gift of mobility. Peter, a disciple of Jesus, was known for his profound faith and devotion. One day, he encountered a man who had been unable to walk since birth. This man, accustomed to a life of immobility, was reliant on the kindness of others for survival. Peter, moved by the man's plight, saw beyond the physical handicap. He recognized an opportunity for a display of faith's transformative power. Peter, with confidence born of faith, commanded the man, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And so the man did. He rose, his legs supporting him for the first time, his life forever changed. His joy was immense, his gratitude profound. This miracle performed by Peter was not just a physical healing, it was a testament to the power of unwavering faith, a faith that could make the impossible possible, a faith that could give the gift of movement. And that, my friends, is Peter's miracle. A testament to the power of unwavering faith, giving the gift of movement. Our third tale brings us to Jesus, a figure synonymous with miracles and his most profound miracle, bringing back Lazarus from the dead. Lazarus, a close friend of Jesus, fell ill, and despite urgent messages sent to Jesus by the time he arrived, Lazarus had been dead for four days. But Jesus, with a heavy heart, did not waver in his faith. He approached the tomb and with a loud voice commanded, Lazarus, come forth. And so he did. Lazarus emerged from the tomb alive, much to the astonishment of those gathered. This was not just a healing, it was a resurrection, a triumph over death itself. It showcased the limitless power of faith and the divine authority of Jesus, a miracle that defied the ultimate law of nature, death. Our final tales take us through two incredible healings, Naaman's cure from leprosy and a woman's faith that healed her long-term ailment. Naaman, a respected commander, was plagued by leprosy, a disease that was not just a physical ailment, but a social stigma. He found his cure through the unlikeliest of sources, a Hebrew slave girl. Upon her advice, he sought the prophet Elisha, who instructed him to wash himself in the Jordan River seven times. Though hesitant, Naaman complied, and to his astonishment, his skin was restored as fresh as a young boy's. His physical healing led to a spiritual revelation, and he acknowledged the God of Israel as the one true God. The next story takes us to a desperate woman who had been suffering from hemorrhage for 12 long years. She'd spent all she had on physicians, but to no avail. Then came the day when she saw Jesus. She reached out in faith, believing that even if she could just touch his cloak, she'd be healed. And just as she believed, her bleeding ceased the moment she touched his cloak. Jesus, 
feeling the power go out from him, turned around and affirmed her faith, stating, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Two tales that show us faith can indeed move mountains, and in these cases, cure the incurable.